Hi students, today we're going over page 256 only. That's all I want you to do. Page 256 for the math packet. We're gonna talk about multi-step multiplication problems. Number five, in one night, a group of five mites lay 21 eggs each, and a group of four mites lay 23 eggs each. How many more eggs did the first set of mites lay? Let's do our get, since I have my magic word, each. My first group has five and each has 21. My second group has four, and each has 23. We're looking for the total. So let's do step one. 21 times five. Five times one is five. Five times two is 10. So my answer is 105. We are not done yet. We still have a step two. 23 times four. Four times three is 12. You leave the two at the bottom and the one at the top. Four times two is one. I'm sorry, four times two is eight plus one equals nine. So my total is 92. How many more eggs did the first set of mites lay? So we want to know the difference between 105 and 92. We're going to subtract. Five minus two is three. 10 minus nine is one. So my final answer is 13. After I do step one, step two, and step three. Number six, students make holiday cards and thank you cards to sell at the school fair. They pack six boxes with 14 holiday cards in each box. They pack eight boxes with 12 thank you cards in each box. How many cards do they pack in all? Let's do our get. Six boxes with 14 cards in each. 14 times six. I have eight boxes with 12 cards in each. 12 times eight. After I find my products, they want to know how many cards do they pack in all. All together, I am going to add. You're adding your products. Your final answer is when you add both products. Don't forget to regroup, find your answers after you add. Students and teachers build a new patio at school. They lay eight tiles in each of 13 rows. The center section has seven rows of four tiles that are laid by teachers. The students lay the rest of the tiles. How many tiles do the students lay? Let's do the get. Let's get our groups. 13 rows and eight tiles in each. 
My first step is 13 times 8. The teachers had a group of seven rows with four tiles in each. So this is what the teachers did, seven times four. But I don't want what the teachers did. I want to subtract the teachers and only count the students. So I need to find the difference between these two products. So I'm going to subtract. My final answer is only the students. Number eight, a teacher has 29 students in her class. She gives each student three stickers and has no stickers left over. How many stickers does she have? So let's do the get. 29 students and each student gets three stickers. What was the total amount of stickers that she had at the beginning before she passes them out? We're gonna multiply 29 times three. And we're looking for the product. Don't forget to click on the link for the quiz. A reminder, breakfast and lunch at JFK all summer. Go today, go tomorrow. Monday through Friday, they are giving breakfast and lunch for free. Also, drop off your library books, check your backpack, turn them in. There are 162 books checked out only for fourth grade. So we need all those books back at school. An important day is Saturday, May 30th, 8.30 to 11.30, 8.30 to a.m. Pick up your school supplies at JFK, drive through style. We're gonna pack up your belongings and you can come that day on Saturday to pick up your things. A special shout out to Eli Munoz from Ms. Saavedra's class. Happy birthday, wishing you the best birthday ever, even though we're in quarantine. But hope you have a great day. And many more birthdays to come. Students, try your best. Don't forget to click on the link and we will see you tomorrow for the reading quiz. Have a great day.